Hello friends, I am Professor Swanand Dongre and today we are going to see a topic of basic electronics engineering and the topic is evolution of communication and elements of communication system. Before starting this lecture, let us see what are the learning outcomes of this lecture. At the end of this lecture, students will be able to first explain the evolution of communication and second, identify the various elements of communication system with their significance. What is communication? If you have a look at this picture, then the communication is nothing but sharing or exchanging information, ideas, thoughts. The sharing can be by any way. Barriers in the communication. There are different barriers in the communication. The main are distance, medium and environment. Now first, distance. If you simply shout, you, your voice cannot be transmitted over a long distance, over a thousands of kilometers. So distance is the main barrier in the communication. Second, medium. Medium means language. There should be some language between two people who want to interact with each other and this language should be same. Otherwise, if one person is speaking in English and second can understand the Marathi, then there cannot be a good communication between them. Third, environment. There are different environmental conditions which affects the communication. We have to see this environmental condition in noise stop. Now evolution of communication. To understand the evolution of communication, let us have a look to a small funny video. The evolution of communication. Well, sort of. It began with shouting. The only problem was that the sound didn't travel that well. So we sent runners to deliver messages. But it took them too long to arrive and they usually forgot the message. We moved on to carved stone messages. But it took them even longer to arrive, and they were too damn heavy. So we trained doves to carry letters, but you can't really train a dove. Then Bell invented the telephone. But he was the only one with a working line. So we moved on to technology. Pagers, BBS, chat rooms, emails, spam, SMS, MMS, IM. But there was still a gap in the communication. Until now. <laughs> Introducing Rounds, a totally new way to connect live on Facebook. Video chat and interact face to face with your friends. Hope you have enjoyed this video and you have understood the evolution of communication. So, evolution of communication. In ancient period, people were communicating with each other with some facial expression with body languages. After that, they started using some symbols like cave painting, stone carving. Then after that, students started speaking the different languages. With the help of this language, they can communicate effectively with each other. But the main barrier was the distance. So people started using the different birds animals and human runners to carry the message but again there were some limitations or such methods after that the human being started writing the information messages and there were the evolution in the field of printing media so the communication became with the help of printing media the drastic change in the field of communication took place in the middle 19th century when electricity was, was invented. After the invention of electricity, there were number of technologies which were evolved like telegraph, then the telephone, the radio transmission, television broadcasting, mobile communication. And after the invention of internet, nowadays we are using the different social media internet techniques for communication like we are using the wave world word then we are using blogging facebook twitter whatsapp 
so after invention of this internet nowadays communication is very fast and within a fractions of second we can communicate from one side of this uh, earth to the second side and that is the evolution in the communication now the elements of communication system here we have to discuss the communication system which is actually the electronic communication system so this is the block diagram of communication system we have to see the different blocks in detail in next slides but these blocks are input signal that is information next is input transducer and transmitter channel receiver output transducer and at the end we are getting the original signal that is information meanwhile the noise can affect the information which is traveling through a channel now let us discuss this block diagram in detail one by one first input transducer so transducer is nothing but electronic device which converts one form of quantity into another form as here we have to discuss the transducer which is related to the electronic communication so obviously it will convert the physical form of the quantity into its electrical equivalent or into reverse manner now input transducer it converts message that can be voice that can be video music or text into its electrical equivalent this electrical equivalent of original information it is called baseband signal these are the examples of input transducer now these are mic mic converts the voice signal into its electrical equivalent next is camera camera converts the picture or video into the electrical and nowadays we are using a digital pen which converts our handwriting material handwritten material into digital format next is transmitter once the signal is converted into its electrical form by the input transducer it is given to the transmitter a transmitter there there is process of signal conditioning so there there are number of processes like amplification to increase the signal strength then the modulation to uh, convert the signal at high frequency domain so as to it can be travel over long distances so there are different modulation schemes like amplitude modulation frequency modulation phase modulation you have to see those in detail in next lecture next block it can have the different encoders so with the help of encoding we can avoid the unauthorized access to our information so all these circuits related related to the signal processing signal conditioning will be then transmitter of course if the communication is wireless then at the end of transmitter there will be transmitting antenna which will convert this signal from electrical format to the electromagnetic waves next is channel so channel is the communication medium through which signal is transmitted from transmitter to receiver the channel can be either wired or it can be wireless wired means there is actual physical medium between transmitter and receiver so it is for use for short distance communication and the examples of wired media are twisted pair cable coaxial cable optical fiber as wired medium is carrying the signal between two particular destination between two particular points so that is why the wired media is also called as guided media next is wireless communication in wireless communication the medium is air as here there will be broadcasting of signal so signal will travel in all the directions so that is why it is called unguided media depending on the frequency ranges there are different types of wireless communication radio wave communication infrared communication microwave communication we have to see this topic the channel that is communication medium in detail in next lectures noise noise is any unwanted signal which degrades the quality of desired information signal the desired information signal is nothing but the original message signal that we have to transmit from transmitter to receiver 
this noise can be either man made noise or it can be natural noise now as the name indicates man made noise it is due to the industrialization transmutation and other human activities natural noise it consists of natural sources like rain then storms lightning or the extra terrestrial natural sources like the radiations from sun or other stars receiver the function of receiver is exactly opposite to the transmitter when signal is transmitted over a communication channel it may be attacked by the different noise sources it may be degraded so that is why the main function of receiver to reconstruct is to reconstruct the signal and to increase its amplitude level and to bring it to its original format so there will be different rocks related to amplification demodulation decoding in the receiver of course if it is wireless communication the receiver will receive the signal with the help of receiving antenna so receiving antenna will be there at the input of receiver which will convert this electromagnetic waves into electric signal next is output transducer it converts the electrical equivalent that is baseband signal into its original form that was transmitted by transmitter so it can be voice video music or text these are the examples of commonly used output transducer first is speaker speaker converts the electrical information into voice format the next is picture tube which is present in television or a digital display it converts the electrical signal into picture or video format so this is the block diagram of the communication system hope you have understood this topics related to communication system now let us see some assignment questions first is draw and explain the block diagram of communication system second enlist the input and output transducers used in communication which are other than mentioned here what will be your choice for communication channel wired or wireless justify so thank you friends see you with a new topic thank you very much bye